In today's video, I'm going to Walmart to search for the new special edition Legacy of Destruction things with the tokens. I don't know what they're called, but we'll figure it out hopefully when we find them. What's up guys, I'm headed to Walmart. I didn't actually know that I was going to Walmart and I kind of just made a detour, but I heard that Legacy Destruction has these new special edition things where they have tokens inside. A lot of you have commented about going to get them, so I'm going into Walmart to see if I can find any. Let's go. All right, guys, we are back from Walmart with these items that I do not know what they're called. Maybe we'll figure it out right now when we look at them, but I bought five of these new Legacy of Destruction. Do they have a name? Legacy of Destruction, not boxes. They're nine car four nine card packs, one exclusive token card. Boxes, sort of, like mini boxes, maybe. All right, mini, mini box, mini box, not special edition. There's five anime tokens. These are actually really cool. And a lot of people were messaging me like, hey, you need to go check these out. These are really cool. That's really the only difference is four packs and that legacy token. So I bought five of these. One will be given away to you guys. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below. What do you think about these? Are Is one token enough to make you want to buy this product? Or do you think it needs to add more? Special editions were three packs and a promo. This is four packs and a token. So, I mean, they're kind of similar to special editions. So what do you guys think about them? Let me know in the comments and these things cost 1796 plus tax so i mean a little under 20 bucks for each one so you're paying almost five dollars a pack but then you have to consider there is a token inside so let's open these things up and see are we gonna like them i really don't know if i'm gonna think this is worth it because when you think about the booster box price when you buy one for like 65 divided by 24 that's much less than five dollars a pack but you also don't get the token so is the token worth almost paying double per pack i mean you'll have to decide because some of those tokens i did see are pretty expensive like 15 or 20 bucks so if they are actually that much still then that would pay for your box so it's worth it but if the tokens go down to like five bucks it's like eh, maybe not as much so let's just open them up let's see how cool these tokens are if they are worth it thank you guys for telling me about these new items took me a little bit to get to them because i've had a lot going on recently especially just like i mean the legacy of destruction new stuff we had a lot of that going on a lot of posts we had to do so yeah we finally got to walmart and grabbed these i'm pretty interested to see if they're going to be cool or not i do i will say that the like display look at these looks really really nice though it's kind of dumb that these are the same size as a booster box almost they're just shaped a little bit different and the booster box has 24 packs this has four so a little bit of a wasted space there but let's just see what these oh you can't okay can't open it that way i guess it's one of those how do you open this from this wait you are i mean this feels like the best way but that doesn't feel like the best way. It feels like you're supposed to open it from the front, but I don't really see how. So maybe we'll figure that out as we go. Okay, packs are out. So the 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 we're gonna reveal the token at the la at the end of the pack. So let's do the packs. There are still a lot of good pack or not a lot of packs, a lot of good cards in this pack. I have not opened this, you know, in a couple days, but we did open a lot of it early on. Let's see if we can get a quarter century. We did finally pull that Lightsworn Dragonling. It was very epic. It was towards the end. Uh, Ancient Gear at Dark Golem. By towards the end, I mean, it was our last QC art. That was insane. So Dark Golem, the luck was absolutely on our side there. It started off a little slow, but it got crazy. Go check out that live stream if you missed it. Oh my goodness, that is a bent up card. Four from the back, not three. We have the, oh, Iron Treads is back at it. Stronghold, Sinful Spoils. We have Memento Land Fusion, Ashen of the Endlessness with Cooling Embers. The uh, not uh, <laughs> burning bush we have the uh goblin biker that kind of looked like a qcr for a sec all right collector rare is what it looked like and i was like wait there's no collector rares in here okay so nothing in that one another super rare out of 20 packs that we have today i mean we can expect like hopefully at least one secret probably well we can hopefully two and then one is what we should get and then maybe like three or four ultras we have gargoyle we have twin we have oh rux and special right to the secret rare Ragnarika the evil seed let's go that is really nice so there we go secret rare Ragnarika beautiful that's actually a decent card I mean it's worth a decent amount okay let's flip that over that I think last I sold one was around 13 bucks for a near mint card so I mean that's we're gonna see if we can make our money back here so that's definitely gonna make I mean that's 65 percent of the value of this uh of this box so plus the token we're Ultra Rux and Special. What do we expect these days? Ultra Rux and Special. I've done it again. Tenpai Dragon Chandra. We're still looking for the Tenpais. Those are pretty expensive. Those are up at almost 20 bucks themselves. And a super rare making our money back would be pretty awesome. So right off the bat, we have a secret rare. Now let's see what our token is. The prices will be popping up on what these are. 
Ooh, the Yugi token, Yugi Gandora. Little Yugi, Yugi Moto. This Yugi Moto and Gandora X, a dragon demolition card, cannot be used, can be used as any token. Why, of course it can be used. Break from your iron prison, Gandora X, the dragon of demolition. Very cool. I like that. So we'll see if we probably are pretty close with that secret rare to making our money back. Let's see about this next one. Good start. I mean, our total cost is going to be 18 times four plus tax. Just imagine the tax. So it's really 18 plus four. All right, let's get this thing open. That did not cut very well. Here come the knife comments. I'm waiting. I sharpened my knife, people. All right. OK, I'm talking to you who's typing about the knife right now. I'm talking to you. OK, I sharpened it like six times. All right. All right. Let's see. Uh, how do we open this? Let's try to figure this out this time because this feels like feels like it should open like this, but it definitely doesn't. See, look at it. Okay, never mind. Definitely not like that. So is it supposed to go like that? It goes backwards. Okay, wait, wait. I did not spoil the token. Don't worry. So you're supposed to open it from the back. That is so strange. I do not I feel like these are backwards. It doesn't make sense. Very weird. Let's open our four packs. Uh, no spoilers because uh, our editor has blurred out that. So you guys didn't see the token. I saw it. So I know what it is, but you guys don't. Ragnarika, we have Tenpai Dragon Phaedra. Double Dragon, we have Disarmor. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Skeletal, we have Biden Dragon, Lightshorn, and another Goblin Biker. Okay, Goblin Biker has returned. We'll be biking with those goblins. Okay, next one. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the video. Thank you guys for subscribing to the channel recently. Appreciate all you guys who came over from the Patreon video. We have Iron Treads, uh, Jungle Dweller. If you did, make sure you guys go check out that uh, exclusive Patreon video. Century Iron and Ancient Gear Dark Golem. I wish they would have made this like a high rarity. That would have been really cool. Okay, Legacy Destruction. Let's go. Walmart, bless us with something crazy. QCR. When was the last time we got a crazy QCR, CR, something like that from Walmart? Probably forever ago. I don't even remember. Double die, Rux and Special. Concerto, we have Seismic Smasher, Ash into the Endlessness, Extinguish the Ash and and Battle Guard Echoes, another super rare. No ultra so far in this opening, just one secret. So we have six supers, one secret, one more chance in this mini box. This one is definitely not making the money back so far. So we're gonna need something big. Sangan summoning, summoning the Sangan, Ancient Gear, Commander. We have Witch, Talons, Ancient Gear Advance, Mick. Not gonna try to say the name. Twin and Dandy White Lion. So that is what we call a dandy of a dud right there. Unless it's a great token, I've already seen it. So this is the Miss Dr. Crowler, an ancient gear golem, can be used as a token. I never thought I'd be able to show this to a student. That just sounds... Sounds a little wrong, Dr. Crowler. That's all I got to say. All right, third box. Here we go. I'm not going to open it the way they want you to open it because that spoils the token. So we're going to... And it's also just completely ridiculous. Like, the, <laughs> supposed to open it backward. Like, this is where the, they're facing. Like, that makes no sense. So I'm going to open it. I'm gonna open it like this. So it's facing backward. We know that. So we can just go like this, maybe and just pull it out like that. Boom. Look at that. We did it. Okay, wait, don't spoil the token. All right, four more packs. So far, we have had not great luck. I mean, well, we had a secret rare. So I guess we are ahead on that one. That is a bent corner right there. That is a very bent corner. Let's see about the rest. Ragnarika, Armored Lizard. We have Double Die. Ancient Gear Duel, Talons of Shirelane, Simple Spoils of Slumbers, we have Melodies Concerto, Moments Land Twin Dragon, and the Multi Universe Super Rare Supers on Supers on Supers. Let me know in the comments if you have picked these up, guys. Have you pulled anything crazy out of them, like any QCRs or anything, any big secrets or anything like that? Because so far, not looking too great for me. There's the our Iron Treads is back. Dismonia. Speaking of Iron Treads, I have a another Radical Red video coming out on Pokerux very soon. And Shaman of the Ashen City. So make sure you go check out Pokerux if you haven't already. We're almost at 7,000 subs. I'm giving away a Nintendo Switch. There we go. When we hit 10K subs, which is very, very close. So if you guys are interested in that, go check it out. It should be pretty cool. We have Struggle. I mean, it is pretty cool. Let's be honest. So uh, let's see if we can get a secret right here. Come on. Marshmallow. More Marshmallow. Very cool. I like that. Except for the fact that we have not pulled anything in the last two mini boxes. This one needs to turn this around because, I mean, these tokens are great, but we need something as well. We need a little... Something a little clutch with it. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four. I also have another Walmart video coming your way where I bought another new product that they have out. And uh, yeah, they're, they look pretty bad. We have Armored Lizard. We have Cyclops, the Circular Sprite. We have Blink Out. Light Sworn Aegis. Volmonica Dismonia. Tantrum Toddler. Sinful Slow as a Slumber Moraine. And oh, the Silent Magician Zero. Another secret rare. 
This is actually not a huge secret rare, but it is a secret rare. And we just got two secrets in 12 packs. Or no, 12 packs. Yeah, I was thinking we were opening 20. We're only opening 12. Yeah, two secrets in 12 packs. Usually get one secret per 12. That's pretty good. And another weird thing is we have not pulled a single ultra yet. It's very strange because usually get about four per box. So one every six, we should add two ultras in 12. Instead, we have two secrets, which is pretty weird. All right, time to reveal our token. Will it be another one? Okay, another Gandor. I feel like getting Yugi is not a bad thing. There's got to be a Kaiba one in here as well. So we have Dr. Crowler and little baby Yugi. I'm guessing that... Wait, what else? Whatever this lady's name is, we have... Uh, there's another Yugi? There's two Yugis. Wait, is this Yusei? Who is this? I don't know who that is. It must be from one I haven't seen. Okay, this lady I think is Melodious. Melodious lady from Duel Links. Two Yugis, one Crowler, and I'm guessing this guy's from like, Melodius might be Arc V, so I'm guessing he's like a Vrains character or something. I haven't seen those. Uh, I just know Vrains has a banger intro. You know, that one's really good. So that's about all I know about Vrains. And that it's the newest, well, I guess it's not the newest anymore because Rush Duel is, pr is I guess the current one, even though, cause it's, they don't not doing it based, like the cards are not based on the anime anymore. They changed that a couple years ago. So I don't even know if that counts as the current one or not, but yeah, hard, hard to keep up with these days, all the anime things they got going on. Hopefully they keep it going. Hopefully it's successful because the anime is kind of what, I mean, a big thing, big reason that Yu-Gi-Oh is popular. Oh, we rucks and special that don't worry. You guys didn't see it. It got blurred out. Okay, four packs left. They're different directions every time. Makes it impossible for me. Four packs, two secret rares so far. No QCR. Look, we have we're getting high ratio like lucky ratio so maybe we can get a lucky ratio on the qcr this little thing at the top of that we have a weiss light sworn arch fiend the white shorts arch light sworn arch fiend we have the light sworns arch fiends and weiss all referenced in one card that's pretty wild ragnaraiko we have skeletal soldier the biden dragon light sworn aegis who's got a draggy on we have jungle dweller and code of soul no ultras <laughs> We've got a lot of super still haven't pulled the big super either. So it'd be nice if we could pull that. Here we go. Make sure to let me know in the comments what you think about these products. Are they good? Are they bad? I personally feel like they're a little overpriced. I think 15 would be a better price for them versus 18. Uh, that way, the, the packs are still under four bucks each. You know, they're like 375 or something plus the token. Okay, Pendulum Witch. So that would feel a little bit better, I think. I mean, 18 is not horrible. If it were 20, it would feel really bad. But uh, yeah, they're still... I mean, if you're going to buy these, buy a booster box and go check out Sassiato. Link in the description. Get uh, $5 off or 5% 5 off all the new sets uh, with me and my code. And I appreciate you guys doing that. There's Iron Treads and it's an affiliate link. It's just a lot cheaper to do it that way. But it's always fun when you're at Walmart to go in and just buy something. I know, I've done it for years. It's so fun to just... Oh, look at all the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I want to buy some. Talents and... Ties it by finally we got a friggin' ultra rare. And guess what? This one's cool because it's a Yugi card to go with our Yugi tokens. Very nice. Gandor, a little baby marshmallow on. We have definitely pulled a lot of Yugi cards in this because there is a Yugi archetype in this set. So it makes perfect sense. And honestly, if you're not playing the Yugi archetype, I mean, come on. Come on, guys. Just make it happen. Okay. One, two, three, four. Play the Yugi archetype. Make it good. Ragnarok armor lizard to double die. Sangan summoning. RIP Sangan. We have gear. Gear advance. We have Mick. Momentum Land Twin Dragon. We have Tantrum Toddler. And here we go. One more card and one more token right after this. Here we go. Fishborg Harpoon. I live the Harpooner. So 16 packs, two secrets, one ultra. Not terrible. If you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel before we reveal the final token that we got here. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. We'll be giving away one of these sealed boxes to one of you guys. Whew, here we go. All right, it's the Melodious token. I kind of forgot. I had already seen it. But yeah, okay, we got the Melodious token. Not too bad of an opening. I'm, these are a little iffy. I don't love them. Personally, not super excited to go buy them again. It's cool to get the tokens, but there's not even a Kaiba token, so that makes it a little sad. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Anessa Dianda, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa, Junior Barning, Robert F., Changalang, Adelso Garcia Jr., and Edwin K. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.